The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o Lord. Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, approached, rolled back the stone, and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. The guards were shaken with fear of him and became like dead men. Then the angel said to the women in reply, Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead, and he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. Then they went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce this to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached embraced his feet and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Maligayang Pasko ng pagkabuhay, hindi po piyesta, Pasko. Kamakailan, ako po ay bumili ng gamot sa Mercury. At meron pong isang babae na sa unahan ko kasi social distancing Naka, nakapila kami ano po pero dinig ko yung kanya binibili bumibili po siya ng diet pill diet pill sabi ko hindi ito nagugutom kasi bumibili ng pandiet eh ano po anyway nang binigyan siya ng tindera ng gamot binabasang ganun tapos papaano po ito ganyan, ganyan, may instruction tapos dinig na dinig ko para po effective kayo po ay mag -e exercise mag -e exercise sabi ba naman ng babae may exercise po. Ano po sabi ko talaga may mga taong gusto iinomin na lang Ano pa? Iinomin na lang. Naka-quarantine na eh. Diet pang iniisip. Hindi po ba? No? Paano mo sasabing sila yung nagugutom? Hindi po ba? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, waking up in the morning does not come with festivities, but with a responsibility. Remember that. Waking up in the morning does not come with festivities, but with responsibility. Tuwing tayo gumigising sa umaga, wala namang fireworks dyan. Alam natin na paggising mo, pag ikaw ay isang ina, ipaghahanda mo ng pagkain ng iyong mga anak. Sabi nga, ikaw ay magbibihis para ikaw ay magtrabaho. Kung ano man ang iyong pagkatao, Ikaw ay babangon at mayroong kaakibat na gawain. Huwag mong kakalimutan yan. Ano po? Hindi ka gumigising at mayroong isang clown dyan at sasabihin, good morning, good morning. Hindi po ba? Ano? Gumigising ka. 
kasi meron kang gagawin. Keep this in mind that the little girl whom the Lord have risen was not given a resurrection but simply resuscitated. Talitak po when John I mean Lazarus was risen from the dead from his tomb he was not given a resurrection but simply resuscitated all of them will later on die all of them but have you considered this that going to bed every night every night you are embracing death because who among you who among you would really say tomorrow i can still be awake who among you that's why the church would always pray grant us a peaceful death grant us a restful sleep and a peaceful death that is the song of simeon that is the song of simeon that going into bed is like embracing death. At di ba, yan ang palaging sagot ng mga tao, paano mo, paano mo gugustuhin? O anong gusto mo pag ikaw ay kukunin ni Lord? Gusto mo bang ikaw ay nalulunod? Gusto mo bang ikaw ay namatay sa COVID? Gusto mo bang ikaw ay nadaganan ng building? Gusto mo bang ikaw ay nasusunog? Gusto mo bang ikaw ay nagcrash? Gusto mo bang ikaw ay nabangga? Walang may gusto nun. Anong gusto mo pag ikaw ay namatay? Sana kunin ako ni Lord habang natutulog. Hindi po ba? Ano? Para wala nang hirap. At yun ang panalangin ng marami. At ano sagot ko dyan? Kaya nga sa mga misa, meron ang mga namamatay ngayon. Hindi po ba? Answered prayer. Kasi sa misa, natutulog eh. Unang pagbasa, unang pagtulog. Ikalawang pagbasa, pangalawang pagtulog. Humiliya, hindi na nagising. Hindi po ba? Ano? Answered prayer. Gusto ko, sana kunin ako ni Lord habang natutulog. Kaya nga ang bawat pag-idlip, ang bawat pagtulog ay pagyapo sa kamatayan. Pagyapo sa kamatayan. But every time you wake up, please take this. Think about this. Every time you wake up, you are being resuscitated. You are given a new chance and perhaps a new beginning. A new beginning. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, before Jesus, there was no resurrection. Before Jesus, there was no resurrection. When did the resurrection came? Only after Jesus descended into hell and on the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the, li the living and the dead. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, only after Jesus' resurrection that the resurrection to life comes. Kung hindi muling nabuhay ang Diyos, walang saysay ang ating mga ginagawa. Aanuhin mo ang Pasko kung ang Diyos ay hindi muling nabuhay. Aanuhin mo ang Pasko. Aanuhin mo ang Christmas. Pinanganak nga, naging tao nga. Pero kung hindi naman niya napagtagumpayan ang kamatayan, di lahat tayo ay mauuwi lamang sa libingan. What really matters most is the resurrection of Jesus. And three things I would like you to think about. Three things. In the resurrection, God has given us hope. God has given us hope. That life doesn't end in death, but simply changes 
from mortal to immortal. We don't simply survive. We don't simply maintain. But we seek progress by making ourselves better today than yesterday. We hope because God conquers death. We hope because we now believe that all things work for good on those who love the Lord. And this is our hope. That after this pandemic, we will continue to live. Second, <laughs> that the resurrection of those who are faithful and not all those who only cry, Lord, Lord. My brothers and sisters, remember this. When people were knocking at the door and people says, Lord, let me in. And God said, I do not know you. Lord, we dine with you. I do not know you. Go away, you evildoers. Resurrection entails responsibility. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, do not forget this. God helps those who help themselves. Tinutulungan ng Diyos ang mga taong tumutulong sa kanila mga sarili. Hindi tinutulungan ng Diyos ang mga taong nakangangalang at nagaantay. Do not forget this. The resurrection comes with the responsibility to live a life according to the commandments of God. What you have done to the least of my brothers and sisters, you have done it to me. And that we practice the corporal works of mercy. As the Gospel of Matthew would say, you have feed the hungry, given drink to the thirsty, Clot the naked, welcome strangers, visited the sick, visited those who are in prison, bury the dead. The resurrection comes with responsibility. It comes with responsibility. Hindi yung ginising ka sa umaga, babalik ka sa pagtulog at magagalit ka sa gumising sa iyo. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, you were given new life because you were given responsibility. Third, the resurrection comes with a burden. Hope, responsibility, burden. The burden of doing good and avoiding evil. It is not enough that we avoid evil, even though it is good to avoid evil. But not to do good is evil. The responsibility or the burden of the resurrection is to do good and not simply avoid evil. And every healing comes with burden. If you remember this, when God, every time God heals a person, He would always say, Go, your faith has saved you. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Ang muling pagkabuhay, bahagi nito, ay hindi lang ang paggawa ng mabuti, kundi pagtalikod sa kasalanan. Do not forget, my brothers and, brothers and sisters, that in God, mercy and justice would always meet. Mercy and justice would always meet. Huwag kayong naniniwala na dahil ang Diyos ay mahabagin, pwede niyong patuloy gawin ang inyong mga kasalanan. Mayroong pong nag-comment minsan sa aking homily. Sabi niya, hindi naman ganun si Lord sapagat ang Diyos ay mapagpatawan mapagpatawad. Nililimot niya ang mga kasalanan ng tao. Huwag mong kakalimutan yon. Ang pinapatawad lang ng Diyos 
ay ang humihingi ng tawad at tumatalikod sa kasalanan. Merong pagtalikod. Hindi ka pwedeng magpatuloy sa iyong kasalanan at ikaw ay mga hawak sa habag ng Diyos. Ito'y may kaakibat na pagbabago ng buhay. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you can never say you are among the Easter people if you continue to live in sin. We hope, we embrace the responsibility, we take the burden. My brothers and sisters, we are not among who wait for things to happen. Hopefully, we are not among those who wait for things to happen. We make things happen in Jesus' name, for He is risen. We don't wait for things to happen. We make things happen because Jesus has risen. Amen. As we try to put back the mantle, we don't have flowers. Wala yun tagagawa ng bulaklak. Hindi natin pinapasok. We don't have the trimmings because it is more important to protect the health than decoration of the tabernacle. But my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, you were given life. Don't waste it. You are being resuscitated every day as you wake up in the morning. Don't waste it. It comes with hope, with responsibility, and with the burden. It comes with hope, responsibility, and with the burden. Hindi ibig sabihin mahirap lang. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin imposible. Pagkamisan, pagpagod na pagod na, palagi ko naaalala ang mga salita ng isang butihing pari, ang isang hiswita, na kung saan ako naglingkod dati. Sabi palagi ito ni Father Herb Snyder, pagpagod na pagod na. He would only look at me and say, remember this, there's no rest for the wicked. There is no rest for the wicked. Ang hirap na, ano? Pagod na pagod ka na, sabihin pa sa'yo, wicked ka. Ano pa? And later on, I realized, who am I? To complain. A servant should never complain. Kaya, pag tinatanong niya ako, how are you? Ang palagi kong sagot, no complain. No complain. Because resurrection comes with hope, with responsibility, and with burden. The Lord be with you.